Um, welcome to all the E Type Jaguar club members and E Type Jaguar enthusiasts around the world. Okay, this is part three uh, of the video of the of the rear brakes, but particularly the handbrake mechanism. So, if you watch this, this is a new adjusting nut, um, and uh, if you see now when I operate it, you'll see it actually catch and adjust. So, basically, every time you lift the handbrake, if the pads are worn this is what should happen and obviously if they're not worn there'll be no movement there um, <coughs> this uh, pawl, is it they call this a pawl assembly this piece here which is uh, basically this is the original as I showed you before which is supposed to clip on here and catch on the end and all they've done is basically get rid of this spring mechanism inside on this rod which rusts and doesn't operate very well so it's actually a much better situation here but there was a couple of other things I wanted to go over um, yes you can see I've actually put the the whole caliper together obviously this piece will come back off when I align the main um, caliper when I put the the differential uh, and put the new disc on I have to line this up so it's absolutely perfectly straight um, or, or not straight but, but so the distance is the same either side otherwise one caliper is going to uh, um, operate before the other but more importantly it's going to twist any of this um, assembly one of the things I wanted to say about this this is obviously all brand new I haven't put the tabs over because obviously this is going to come back off again because if I try to put this onto the disc the way it is it might not line up correctly because it might have to be shimmed out on this mechanism here at the back um, you might have to shim it inside where it goes onto the diff but what I wanted to show, if you're ever changing these pads what you want to be doing is making sure you're changing these uh, 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 reactor plates this is a brand new one and if you look very closely hopefully it will show up, I'll try and get it more into the light can you see that, that fracture there right on the corner so when the brake pads, they always recommend you change these out to a reactor plate to... Basically what this is doing is is giving you uh, a, a spring mechanism to open them back up again. So as you pull on the handbrake, this is being pulled across and this is helping to open them back up again to free them off if you like. <coughs> so the reason I'm making these videos is that um, <coughs> I do a, a, an E-Type article um, every month. This is this is it here. This is uh, um, this is a December issue of the E-Type magazine, and every month I, I do a, a thousand word uh, article on what I'm doing to my my car. And so what I like to do is is because I'm not <laughs> I'm not a writer by any stretch of the imagination. Um, I like to do the videos to, to back up the um, what I'm actually writing in the article because it's much easier to see it, I believe, than it is to to talk about it. But uh, hopefully, this will give you some some help when you're doing these rear brakes. And obviously, you want to be sure you're using these manuals to make sure everything's in the right place. Um, this is the the main thick Jaguar manual, E-type uh, Jaguar manual, and this is a Haynes manual. You can't have enough of these things, to be honest. Anyway, um, hope you got something out of that, and uh, and and uh, hopefully all the information will help. But as I build it and get it back up, um, I'll uh, do more and more videos. So please check out Dave Jaguar 66 for any updates or any information. Thanks very much. Bye for now.